Hi, I'm Jadi, and let's continue all our LPIC lessons. We are going to cover maintain the integrity of file systems. Candidates should be able to maintain a standard file system, as well as extra data associated with a journaling file system. Objectives are verify the integrity, monitor free space and inodes, repair simple file system problems. These two commands will help us in this one. And then we have some file system check commands for general ext commands or vfat and others and some for xfs file systems easy and straightforward let's start the first part i will talk about du and df du is for disk usage and disk free Disk free will give you data about the whole file system, how much of it is free or how many inodes are free. I will describe a little bit later. DU will show you the disk usage of some particular directory. So if you have a directory, another directory, you can check what is the disk usage of this one. But first, let's see what are inodes. The inodes is a data structure in a Unix style file system that describes a file system object. <laughs> inodes work like a list. For example, you have a book and you are writing your diary. This is your book, lots of pages. And you have an index here. You write in it. My diary of this specific day, I was sad today and hope I write more tomorrow. And say this is on page 49. And on 49, you write blah, 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 blah. There are some metadata here. For example, you write your mood and your main goal, for example. Next, you write here, next day, blah, blah. I was super happy learning Elpic. Pages 19. 2, 202, and 32. You don't need to be uh, use specific pages one after another. You can say, okay, these three pages. You write your diaries here. This is another inode. So you, it's kind of a list which contains some metadata. On Linux systems, for example, on EXTs, we have the ownership. We will see this later. You have the uh, permissions of this file, if it's executable, if other people can read it, if they can write on it, and these kind of stuff. All of these goes into this list, which is called inodes. On an ext system, even when you format your disk to ext, it creates some specific number of inodes, and you have to stick with it. So, on an ext, this might happen that you have some specific number of inodes and lots of disk space. And you create many, many, many super small one bit files, but each of them will use one inode. So on some place, you will be, all your inodes will be exhausted. You are out of inodes, but you still have free space and you cannot create any more new file because you don't have inodes. This was the problems with ext. It's not good for lots and lots and lots and thousands and thousands of small files because of this reason unless you tweak it based on your needs and some systems do not use inodes for example vfat doesn't have this data because it doesn't have something like a last change time of a file or access or modifications anyway let's go forward and see what we have i have the same debian we were using with one additional disk to be tested in this it's better to become root so we can issue more commands my password df is for disk free it simply shows me that you have these file systems on the system this is dev sdb2 it has this many 1k blocks out of them this much is used which is 48 percent are used and these are available difficult to read so i can add a nice switch dash h for human readable now it's easier sdb2 19 gigabyte 8.2 gigabyte 
is used, 9 gigabyte available, so 48% use, much easier to read. I use the lowercase h. You could use uppercase h. This shows data in thousands. This, this shows data in powers of two. So this is it when it says when it says uh, one megabyte, it means this much kilobytes. Not a big difference. I prefer lowercase h. So you can say df dash h, show me human readable, or you can say give me the types too. So it will give you the type of each file system. sdb2 is ext4. sda5 is uh, xfs. sdb1 is blah blah. And other data you already have. The last switch is, which is good to know or you have to know is inodes dash i so df dash h and dash h dash t for type dash r for talk with me in inodes and not in uh, free space so sdb2 has 1.2 million inodes out of them 2. Point, uh, sorry 2006 <laughs> are used and this much is free this much of i nodes are used you remember it was 48 percent when we were speaking about the disk capacity so we still have more i nodes to be used this talks in i nodes i repeat on ext file systems you may be out of inodes but still do have free disk space it's a specific case so this was df another command which is very useful is du this is disk usage when we were using df we were talking about the free space or free inodes on the whole file system but i want to see how much my temp directory uses. I can say D U disk usage on this directory. It says okay, there is a directory which uses this much disk space, this much. This was very not beautiful. Let's go to the home Jadi. This is nicer. I can say disk usage. It says okay, all these directories, for example, slash bin uses this much because it's a directory. Uh, dot cache uses this much difficult to read let's switch to dash h human readable much nicer now the cache uses 55 megabytes config uses 248 kilobytes in total it uses this much in many cases you don't need all those descriptive data you need a summary it says okay this directory uses this much uh, data. I can also try the same thing with temp and say hs. As you know, we can combine most of our key, uh, switches. So human readable summary on slash temp. So it's okay. Slash temp uses this much. In many cases, when I have a huh? again, this happened. I hate when this happens. I have to learn why this happens and fix it. In many cases, you are downloading something or you are creating a report or something. So I run just watch du slash temp hs and see how it goes, if it's increasing or not. Watch, we'll run this command every two seconds and we'll show you the output. So what I was doing. Okay, disk usage, dash hs on home jotty. Another switch which I'm very, very fond of is max depth, slash home jotty. This set tells to the DU to do the same calculation, 
go and see how much data this directory consumes but instead of showing all the data every single directory we used to tell it dash s to just show me the summary like this but i can say max depth one show me only to one depth this is super cool because this is what helps you find which directory consumes your disk space i say okay go here for sure it is doing the calculation with all the depth it needs but when showing says okay home jody public uses only four kilobytes ah this is the directory where jody is storing all his data or if you have too many users lots of users and you want to see who is using your disk space you can do like this du dash h human readable mock step one on slash home does the calculations goes all inside all of the directories in each user and says okay slash home jd uses this much slash home x wi-fi uses this much and in general slash home uses this so go punish x wi-fi user this is how du works and that's it let's go and see in the next section how we can work when we have a file system which needs to be 